I flew 2,711 miles across the country to have a golf lesson with George Gankus. George is arguably one of the best golf teachers in the world and is ranked number 18 top teachers in America by Golf Digest. He has coached some of the top players in the world like Matthew Wolf. His teaching techniques are definitely different and I was skeptical at first. That was better. But I have to admit, George is definitely one of the best coaches out there. I'm gonna give you guys a full look at what a lesson with him looks like. I'm here with the legendary teacher, George Gankus. We've had a lesson before, but I'm coming back out here to show you guys what a full lesson looks like with him. And I'm super excited to get into this. Give us like a little recap of who you are for those of you that don't know. You probably do know who he is, but. Well, I'm just a teaching pro out of a public course, Westlake Golf Course in Westlake, California, and um, that's basically it. No, know? that's not basically <laughs> it. He's got some of the top juniors in California as well as top pros. He's got a YouTube, which I'm going to link in the description so you guys can get to know him a little bit. And we're going to be talking about how you got into teaching, but I want to really dive into what I'm working on. I'm giving you full reign to critique my swing because okay. I need it a little bit. Just well, a little let, bit. let me tell you something. First off, your swing is awesome. Okay. <laughs> Second you. off, you flush the ball. I mean, and we look on Instagram or we look on YouTube and you never know how good somebody really hits it. Yeah, sure. I can tell that somebody can hit it good. I can just see certain positions. I can see the flow in the swing. But you personally, when I'm watching, you flush the ball. You Thanks. make really good sound, okay? So we just looked at a couple things before the actual, you know, the video started. And it was near perfect, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I think that you said that you were losing a little speed because I feel you like I'm felt just, something was a little off. I feel like I've always moved my leg, my basically my foot, before I make impact ever since I was little, and I feel like I'm not reaching the max speed that I have. I know I have more, and okay. I just feel like I don't have so, it. Right so now. let me let me like reiterate on what you just said. Okay. So the first thing is is all juniors either get their knee to move in front mm -hmm. or they suck their butt in. Okay. Most juniors do that, and that's for speed. A lot of people jump up for height, okay? Right. Most juniors do that. Now, here's the deal. You've been trying to keep your foot more flat, right? Down. down okay? So when you keep it down, you're really not turning. You're really not using the ground the way you could. Right. So for me, when I look at somebody keep their foot down, it's usually because they feel like they get better contact yeah. or better ball direction, okay? Right. But that's going to lose speed because your engine needs to reflex. So when I say reflex, in order to get pressure on this left foot, I have to reflex this right side. That means I have to reflex my knee, my heel has to come up, my hip has to be in flexion. And you don't need to know what those mean, it just means that you're reflexing the right side. So if I just keep this dead here, I really am not pushing into the you're ground. You're not getting what you have on the right 100%, side 100%, like, 100%. So you still it. have that in there. But if it's causing you to get it dumped under or if it's causing you to get tilted back, then we have a problem, but you don't. You're just sitting here and you even hit it good this way, but I showed you that at this position, you were not square. Most players are square by right about here. Right. And in one swing, I told you to reflex and it was square and you flushed it, and, right. and that's the speed. Now, why would somebody want to reflex the side, not just to get pressure here, but now I can use it to push off and turn. If it's stale here, well, then I don't have height, anything. Like it may height, just everything, get yes. that impact. Exactly, speed's gonna create we the height. We talked about that last time because I wasn't getting as much height and I also, wasn't my big problem last time I had one lesson with George and he really changed my swing and helped it for the better I was on my irons I had a really high exit point first of all trying to create height from basically nothing and what I've worked on since then is a lower exit point which has helped me so much but thank goodness we fixed that that height problem it helps I've gotten contact. so much I've gotten so much more height so so most juniors exit through like higher on the shoulder Right. Most pros exit through the middle of their body with irons, more on the shoulder with the driver. Yeah, and then the dr on the driver, it's higher. It's a little higher. higher. And the yeah. only reason is because of extension. Okay, so I'm gonna work on, I'm, I was here, I need to be more here. Yes. Okay. Really sick. That was yeah, beautiful. I felt that. That's I beautiful. also felt that my, I felt more of like a square, like my feet were square. They didn't move too much while I was swinging. More just so it like felt that. really good? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was really flush. Okay. So when I look here, now look at how much quicker, I mean, that's perfect that's right crazy. there. That's so, crazy. So if we go back and we show her where her hips are at, at this point, they're about square. Most players are square right about here. She's pretty square there. And then you can see her exits really nice. Well, we go two videos back 
And you can see she was trying to almost keep that right leg flexed forever. And it's not even square till there. So this is much, much better with the reflex in the right leg. Yeah, okay? that's crazy. First so that, that, that's what I, I mean, that's really honestly the only thing that I see that I would change. Let <laughs> me see the face really... on. All right. I mean, you can't flush it better than that. I would also like to point out, this is how great George is because <laughs> he fixed my swing basically in one, one thing, one little tip, but I, gone to multiple coaches my entire career and they'll come out and they'll say here's what you're doing wrong this is what you're doing wrong they'll never let me leave without something being wrong still in my swing <laughs> just to get me to come back George just fixes it like that it's just let's fix this swing <laughs> let's fix it and then you know she can come back when she's ready a year later okay I feel like I kind of was a little late on that one I okay. kind of turned my so do it again over. Go ahead and do one more. I think I let my wrist lead with that. Wasn't as much power. Hmm. Okay, oh. so come on over here real quick and yeah. let's look at this. Okay, can you want to see this too? Yeah. Close? Okay, so when we look over here, a lot of players get up top and they push. See how you're pushing off that trail leg a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't need to push like that, okay? So at this point, I want people square with their hips and their chest. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about that. So if I went up to the top of my golf swing and someone says, this is like a baseball player would what? Push off the trail leg, right? right. You, you guys agree? Okay, I get all my pushing when I recenter. So I move off here, I start to recenter. You do a pretty good job of that. Then you start pushing more. You don't need any more push. All you need from here is a downturn and then into this extended rotated position. So I feel like on that last one, you didn't do that on the other ones, but you had a little bit more push off that trail okay. leg. Does it make so sense? So keeping my, instead of like shifting more of a push. You just need to get out of the way. Just, I need to move my body a little so more if like I, a core. So if I did one thing, so set up like you're hitting, go to the top of your swing. Okay, I'm gonna move you a little more this way. Okay, now okay. how would you do it? You just start turning, right? Now let's right. go again to the top. So if I did something opposite and I push, now push off your trail leg, yeah, you wouldn't do that. You'd push off trail leg. You'd start pushing this way right. to get pressure, right? Right. So you recenter your so pressure. So I want to be a little bit more like that. Yeah, and then you turn out of the way. That's okay. it. That's all I'm saying. Ah. Go again. I kind of like shifting. You did recenter good, but then you pushed. Right, I keep doing that. It's okay. So like. So reflex the right leg. If you reflex the right leg, do you push? No. So, so like. You want me there? Yes, yes, yes. So watch me, watch me. Video me. So if I'm already over here, why would I push? If I was over here, I would push, right? Right. So if I'm already over here, there's no need to push. I'm going to reflex the leg. That gets pressure on here to now push off. Okay. okay? So I so, just got to come down, basically. Yep. Now, yep. Right there. Now you can start to turn nah, okay. and get out. Got it. Reflex the leg and just crush. Recenter. Good. That was better. Okay, now, if I come over here, come over here real quick, because this is all, I don't think you need to change anything. I'm just saying this is are some drills that you could do. Okay. So face face your shadow, okay? Now go ahead and face it. Face, turn around the other way. Face your shadow. You're now your you're back. No, I'm not facing. Yes, it? exactly. So you're there facing you your shadow. Okay, now aim a little more left. Now you're dead facing your shadow. Beautiful, okay. So what I tell my players, I said, listen, if you recenter properly, this is your right hip. Go yeah. ahead and go to the top, you're natural. Okay, now look where your hip's at, perfect. You created space here, but where's your head? Over the ball. Oh, it should be right there. Right there. Does it make sense? Yeah. Now there's no need to push. You can just pivot. Does it make sense? Do it one more time. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> there you go. That feels different. Now you want to go and around, right? Got it. Now go up top one more time. Now go to where you were before, where you pushed off. Now just turn. You're never going to just turn. You're, You're going to shove. Back. Yes, exactly. So now where's your exit going to be? It's going to be more high. Right. Does it make sense? Yeah, so they all yeah. work together. That's all I'm so saying. So now I got to go. Recenter, turn. Yes, exactly. So, That's oh, it. That's it. as simple as you need to keep it. That makes high. sense. How are you? So if you read. You got to stay over the ball. But so, so video me real quick. So everybody recenter is different. So if I sat here and said, okay, why, the way I learned is just stay centered. Okay. Now everybody's got on a kick of like, like a trigger or something. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Trigger? Like Bryson, all these guys, Rory, they're all moving off the ball, but some people at first parallel start to recenter back to center. Some people are here, recenter. Some people are a little further up here and recenter. Everybody's different, but everybody gets back to center now. Yeah. Does it make sense? So you don't have to just stay there stagnant. As long as I, at the as top. Long as long as by the I'm top the you get there. So you don't have to push. So like, all right. Yep. 
beautiful. That was perfect. Oh, that was so good. Basically, I mean, I think to me it's going to be easier if I just say, just stay centered over the ball and move. I, I'm absolutely. That's probably for me is going to be a little bit easier. I'm absolutely. So, so this is what everybody that teaches is doing now, okay? And I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just giving you options, okay? So they all go here and they go, okay, you've seen people do this and then step, right? Yes. Okay, so they're stepping and then when do you actually recenter? Fast swing swingers like myself will recenter at first parallel. That means here I'm starting to move back to center. Does that right. make sense? Yeah. You'll look at some players are at left arm parallel, then they start to recenter. Like Tiger would recenter at 45. Like right about here, he'd be moving off the ball and the very top he'd set almost like okay. a leaning tower back there. Yeah. But the easiest way to teach it is to stay centered and just turn. Yeah. Okay. I like that. That's the easiest for you, you do that. That's a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah. And the exit point I can feel is lower too. That's what, what I've loved what's up, since I first was with George is that I low dialed, yeah. exit point. Bumpy. That had She's got some pop on it. That had a lot more height and speed. Yeah. A lot more height, a lot more power. But I you know what I like about that? Because I didn't sacrifice Sometimes I'll get height and speed, but I hit before the ball, especially on a mat. Like I always do that. Personally, on a mat, I feel like I'm gonna hit before the ball. There I actually swung afterwards and still got the height. Exactly, so I think that one thing to think about is, I used to fish hook, which means, okay. So if someone moves off the ball, which we were all taught in my age, okay, my, my, my era, everyone would shove off this trail leg and we get all this tilt. So there was no real pressure. So that's yeah. how we got our height. Now people are recentering back here. They're just digging in the ground and, and then exploding. pushing off, exploding yeah. off. And you just did that great. So there's nothing to really like change in that. I'm so, getting the height and the speed. Yeah, you sure. are. You're getting the speed for sure. And your head is. Better? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Way better. Better, much better. That looks great. <laughs> what are you shooting right now? Are you shooting under par out there in the yeah, tournaments? Yeah, in tournaments, I, okay, like my last tournament, I shot 73, 69, no, 74, 69, 73. So I'm, play, I'm playing well recently. She's balling. So good. That was better because I hit it more right, which I like to do. Since we talked last time, I had that hook problem the first time, and thank God I changed that because. Well, look at how much better your upper body is, okay? So it's, it's look dead at, straight. It's dead straight, yes, exactly. And there's way less slide, way less slide. Yeah. Way less slide. That's so much better. That is way better. I think that's probably the easiest thing for you is to stay centered. I think you'll reflex and go. Did you flush? That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> she does flush it, huh? That was really good. <laughs> no, I mean, you honestly flushed the ball really, Thank you. really, really nice. All right, let's hit some drives because I want to. Okay, so let's see it. Let's see that. I should probably take it off the tee and put it up there, though, right? Uh, absolutely, it's cool with me. Little You're... tail on that one. Okay, one more. Dude, that swing is sick. That was much Very better. Good. Although I lost my balance, I had more speed and height. I lose my balance every time. I <laughs> yeah, everybody always talks about that. I go, just watch where the ball goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I look at this, your spine is in a really good position. So, see this little arch in the back? Yeah. That is like what every pro is doing. You have a full turn here. Your spine, if we looked at it, is anywhere from right about there, from about 80 to 85 is perfect for me. Yeah. That's great, okay? So that's awesome. Then when you come down, you're in a, like you're see your head's going back there, it should with the yeah. driver, yeah. only with the driver, okay? So that's just extension. Now when you see your left hip, see that right there? That's where you could create a hair more speed, okay? We can leaving it a little bit no, it's good. It just could go, it could go back a hair quicker. So if you watch my hip, your hip is going 
a little more this way and like it could go kind of back push. that way. Yeah, so yeah. if I put a balloon here and said crunch this balloon, it'd go that way rather than yours is back, but it's a little bit more linear, meaning it's moving towards the target yeah. a little more, which I'm okay with. You just hit that grate, it's not the biggest deal at all, but that's the only thing that I would say that I, I would go, okay, I see you every day, I would fix that. That's Yeah, it. so what would you say to like 90% of golfers who want Hi, to get more speed, especially on their driver, and how much do you think of it like going to the gym and how much do you think of it is like just technique in the swing? I think it's it's 95% technique. Now, a lot of people would disagree with that and go, okay, you're already strong, you are or I am. Yeah. But the fact is, is, is when I know that I make a full turn, that's a full turn, when I have extension of the spine, which you do, mm -hmm. so extension looks like that arch in the spine. You see that right there? Yep. When my shoulder's retracted, which yours does, all those are huge speed moves. And then your hands are above your head. All those are big speed moves. Now, right. how do we start down? If you look, I did a thing on Minwoo Lee, Cameron Champ, Matt Wolf, Tiger Woods, and one other player, I forgot what the, the third was, but every one of their shoulders was straight up and down. So when you watch their shoulders, see that straight up and down here? Yeah. See how it's not back here? Mm-hmm. Okay. They were all like there, which puts a lot of pressure before they go up and extend, okay? Yeah. So if you went to the top of your swing, well, let's look at this real quick and see how many of those things you have, what I just said. So number one, your shoulders are back. Your shoulders retracted, okay? So you have one is a big turn. That's what I just said, right? That shoulders retracted, okay? Right. You have the spine extension. You have your hands above your head. Yeah. Every single one that your right hip is inside your foot line. Every single one of those is a speed move, okay? So you have massive speed for your size. Now, if I went over here and said, okay, let's move that back out and go to transition. And I said right here, look, well, let's go one more frame right there. Okay, now if we look at all the longest hitters, almost every one of those are straight up and down. So see how yours is a little more diagonal? Yeah. They're all straight up and down here. Okay. Before their upper body moves back. So now you're gonna see your upper body move back, back, back. That's the hit off the tee hop. Here is my shoulder right here. It's a little more diagonal this way, right? Yeah. Okay. So all of them are like here, and they don't just stay here. They're like here, and then they push back and turn. Does on a driver, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on a driver. If you want the most speed, you have all the speed traits in the backswing. Set up like you're hitting. Go all the way to the top. Now let's start down. Boom, right there. See where that's at? If you were back here, do you have as much pressure on there? No. No, that's where you're at. So boom, but that doesn't mean stay on top of it. From no. there, now you better get back and turn, right? Yeah, uh, so it's like loading on that left And then getting out of the way. But most adults will do up. this. Most adults will go, I'm loading on it. I'm lo and they're not turning as they're loading on right. it. Right, so they're, they're just like kind of dropping. Dropping, yes, you're, you're not gonna have that problem. Okay, so it's like here yep. and then. Get out of the way, yes, big turn. Finish the turn, load, and explode. Okay, see, you popped up the first one. Do it again. Everyone does. Do that again. Do it again. Every, everyone What's that height? What the heck did I so, do? So you didn't know. You did exactly what. So do it again. Everybody does that the first time. So do you have that on? Yeah. Okay. So everyone does that, and they go, okay, George wants me here, and then they just stay here. So it's here, and then back behind. You gotta move out of the you way. You better get Otherwise out of the way. Yes. Do that. Load, then get out of the way. Good, a very better. good. Kind of open the face a little bit, but. It's pretty sick. <laughs> I can see how you actually, wait, what are you, what'd you say, 15? 16 now. 16 now, you can drive, nice. Okay, so I gotta be a little bit quicker. I'm doing it too late. That was much better. That's hammered. Although it went a little right, that was much better. You got much more height there. Okay, now look where you're at. You're straight up and down there. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. See where you're straight up and down there? Is that hard to see? Yeah. Yeah, there we okay. go. Okay. Then your head went back, and that's all I want. Does it make sense? Yeah. So everyone that I teach, they go, well, how much should my head be behind the ball at impact? And I said, okay, well, let's put this on the middle of your head, okay? They go to the top and I say, load down. And then by impact, I want you behind that line. If it's Got in the it. middle, does it make sense? Yeah. So the first one you did, you just stayed there, right? And when we first started, you just went immediately back there. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's a little there and then back behind it. Got does it make sense? Yeah. So let me have this. So when I first started playing, someone goes, come over the front view. 
Come with me. Yeah, there you go. So someone, when I first started playing, goes, just stay behind it. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to stay behind it. And I just stayed behind it. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I just stayed behind it. Does it make sense? Yeah. But realistically, when I started going here first and then behind, I started smashing. Like, that wasn't long. I probably yeah. seemed long, but that, yeah. I smashed the ball. Okay. So the fact is, is that helped me just hit up on it first. And I hit it good that way. But then someone's like, you want more speed? You better get down before you move behind it. Where does that philosophy come from? Because, again, like you have only heard of coming behind the ball. Yes. So where did you find that out? I think that's a great question. I think that one day I was at North Ranch and they were having a yearly thing they have every year. I think USC holds it or Pepperdine holds it. And they have it every year. And I'm watching this kid that probably weighed 125 pounds. And I had one of my guys in it. It was like 2003. And this kid was hitting it like 340 yards. And he probably weighed 120 pounds, honestly, 120, 130. And I was like, that's what got me on the search for speed. And I was just watching the kid and the kid was all the way up like you, big turn and his hip was going back and low and before he, he went pulled, back. Yeah. And I saw everybody else was like this right away and they were all hitting up and hitting it straight. But the fact is it wasn't as much speed. Yeah, so I was like, so I started watching all the longest hitters in the world and they're all juiced out and they're still doing this. And then I started watching all the kids that were like Cameron Champ, Matt Wolf, like anyone who smashed a tiger woods they all had this first huh, before they went backwards not just back like i showed you i hit that good and it was just straight back right yeah i've so, never heard of that before so i'm gonna definitely okay so that. that's like the that. reason that they do it is just to get the pressure and then they better get out of there otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna too pop good. up like the first yep. one i did finish the turn good very good did you smash that was that was high you, you, you smash fast. okay so you got a huge turn now look at where your left side's at. Is that straight up and down? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's, everything's moving forward. Forward and down before you move back. So that's straight up and down there before it goes down. So when you have the, when I look at it and I go, okay, I go over to Instagram and I show on this. When you look at Instagram and you go back over to. This is his Instagram account, by the way. This is to go follow it. <laughs> and I don't know why it's not loading, but it will on one side. Okay, so here we go. So when I go over, I did a little video here of all of these players and I've never seen it not load, but this is a really cool video for people to see. Okay, so Tiger in that position, you can see straight up and down. Yeah. Min Woo Lee, see where he's at? Yeah. Wolf, DJ. Wow. Cameron Champ, all bombers, right? Yeah. Not one of them look like this right away, okay? Yeah. So we all wanna hit up and the, the crazy thing is is that I've always been taught that 70% of my pressure should be on my left foot. And that's where I'm at about an impact with an iron. Yeah, but, but not on a about driver. About 70% is on my left where? In transition, yeah. by impact, it's about 50-50 to 70-30 on the right. And you see some dry, long drivers are 90% on the right foot, but they don't just go straight to the right foot. Got it. Make sense? Yes. That's a cool way to look at it. Where? That all makes sense? That totally so. makes sense. Let me just grab it, let's see. Later, Wayne. Hey, are you at the Oak still? Yeah. Keep him going, G. Good, I love it. Well, with you as the coach, let's go. <laughs> that guy's okay. a stud. <laughs> okay. Very nice. I kind of hit that toey. That so, was... so listen. So when I look at your ball position, it's forward of your inside of your left foot. Okay. Now I've got some players who play it there. It just means it's a little more forward on the arc, which means by the time you get there, your pass going to be going where? A little left. Mm -hmm. Which means if the face is square, the ball starts straight and cut a little bit. Does it make yeah. sense? So that's the difference. So I don't mind that it's forward. I had a kid one day that was so far under the plane and he was hitting it straight but he had it so far forward by the time he got there the path was zero face was zero and i'm like whoa his ball position was way more forward than you so i don't mind that if you were more under the plane but your normal plane i would say i'd get it just a hair just more just a little bit more back a tiny bit just that's on the inside that probably feels way back right yeah let's just see what happens okay so now all of a sudden that hook more right yeah good do it again one more and you don't have to keep it there because i like that height i'm just saying if it starts to cut too much Try you can do push. that. Now, here's another, because I'm all about matchups. I want you to put it in your normal ball position, okay? Forward, but I want you to aim your feet a little more right, but keep your face there. Get your feet a little more right, more right. Yeah, like it's going to be more draw pattern from there. Yeah. But the face and the, everything else. 
So now, oh, you, yeah. would, now you wouldn't get as much cut. Does it make sense? Yeah. So the more forward you have it on the arc, it's just like a circle. It's starting to go more where? Left, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you offset it by aiming more right, you can keep the ball position there. Right, I did see a video actually on that the other day where it's like, if you have on your driver, like it's a circle, right? Yes. So if you're gonna put the ball here, it's of going left it's on the arc. Go like... Yeah, it's gonna cut, or by the time you get there, if your face was closed, it could pull too. It could pull, yeah. It just depends on the face. But the fact is, is your path. Tea. Do you need another, uh, another tea? Yeah. Okay, here's a tea. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not seeing anything right now. <laughs> what are you nearsighted or farsighted? I'm nearsighted. Are you? Yeah. I I'm can't farsighted. See, I cannot see anything outside of here. Really? Yeah, like I barely can see. So do you want to see with glasses, like, because you can't see the ball as well, right? But no, you can see out there. I can't see. Basically, I can't. Where can't, can't you see? You can't see out there or you can see here better? I can not I can see here better, Okay. but I can't still see, like, the logos on the ball from, from where I am. Really? Yeah. That was Beautiful. the best one. That was smashed. So I put it, yeah, that was. So you, was you did you have it more forward or I did you have it a little bit more back? Yeah, I, so I, now I, it's on the inside of your left foot. And then you didn't have to get your feet changed. Now look at your left shoulder, straight mm -hmm. up and down. That's beautiful. And then you went back. That's that, all you That was the best going. one. That was good. So when we look at this, she changed her ball position from really far forward. See how far forward that is? You can even see over here. Come on over here. So see how far forward that is? So on the last one, you had it more on the instep. You finished your turn. Your left shoulder dug right there. That's perfect. Just like all those players who hit it far. Then you went back and smashed it. Okay. That was the best one. So to me, I think it's, I mean, I wouldn't change anything from there. Hit that one was... more down the line. Let me see one down the line. Then we'll go on the course. Yeah, then I want to go out on the course. And... We'll go on the course. This will be fun. Okay. Hammered. Hammered, hammered. Even though I pulled that over a little bit, it was Just only like a five-yard pull. So good. I mean, so good. Like, you shallow it out so good. Especially on my driver. That I is that so lot. sick. Like, that is so good. Okay, <laughs> so you don't even have to put this on. I want to try something out. I'm not trying to sell a product. I just want to see when yours snaps, okay? Because okay. I this I'm is. Oh, is this the famous G strap? Uh, yeah, the, G snap? <laughs> yeah, what is no, it? it's the G slot. But you okay. don't, you don't have to put this on. I'm not trying to sell it. I just want it for curious because you shallow it perfect. I want to see when this snaps, okay? And I want to see exactly so where you snap. So this is it. your product. No, I want I want people to know because no, I've, have seen, to do that. I've seen it on Instagram. I'm excited. So see. you did. I think you'll snap that without even trying. I promise. You don't even know it, but I bet you she snaps it. Okay. Okay. So just go. Don't even think about it. Just pound one. First, I gotta find. The Guarantee she snaps it. It's hard to snap with you just doing that, right? Yeah. Exactly. It's... So let's see what happens when you really swing it. Don't even try and do anything. Just okay. swing your normal swing. Let's crush it. Ah, she didn't even snap it, and it's still shallow. Let's see this. Perfect. Well, I'm surprised that didn't. That is so perfect. I don't think I have enough <laughs> You don't need to. I mean, that is absolutely hit. One more with that thing. You don't, honestly, you don't need to. I guarantee your arm's here and it's like, look at how good that is. Like her transition. That's why I wanted to see if it would snap. That is so sick. So how's her ball position there? Good? This is a little bit short. This is a little bit more back. Which okay. I The hat okay. comes off. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so it doesn't even off. snap on you, but it, look at where it's at. It would snap for everybody else. Look at where your arm's at. Yeah. That is so shallow. That's why I thought it would snap. You don't have to put that on. I, I think just it's wanted just because to... I, I think it's because I'm not strong enough. To I like... think so too. I think so too. <laughs> but I for sure thought it would because she's like so shallow. It's craziness. That's awesome. <laughs> He'll hit one. He'll hit one and you'll see. Whoa. Like this kid's, he's only put one full round of golf in his life. And he just didn't like it. He, he played one full ground in Palm Springs. That was it. And he shot maybe, I think he shot 90. But he's only played one full round before. He's, he's... Let's see if someone's here. Let's see if we can tee off right here. I doubt they'll let us, but let's see if we can. I don't know if they'll let us play right here, but let's find out. Because <laughs> they said to go find a spot out there. Yeah, but let's see if they're cool with it. All right. 
Maybe we'll hit and they'll go, no. Like a mini playing lesson, sort of. Yeah. Well, oh, thanks, I appreciate what'd that. What'd they say? Oh, he said go? <laughs> no, no. You go ahead. No, 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 he said, he said, he watches my videos. Oh, really? Yeah. This old guy? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. All right. Perfect. There we go. That might be on the green. Let me still that pink tee. Yeah. Go ahead. These are my favorite tees. Are those your tees? <laughs> yeah. Like they them? are. I love these pink tees. <laughs> Uh-oh, I pulled one. That was smashed. Though. It was smashed. Pull. Cool. Okay. Wow. That was that uh, was smashed. It was smashed left. Alright, we'll go find it. It is absolutely anything on this course is okay. That's true. <laughs> uh, we played it once. I mean, I didn't play this nine, but you didn't play this course. No, I played. I played it, but I played it um, over there. I played the, the front nine. Oh, I you guess. did already play it? No, I played it the first time when we came here. I played the front nine. That's it. Really? Yeah. This course is fun. Yeah. Tomorrow, when you and Aaron go play. Erin's got so much better, she gets so nervous. Why? I don't know. She's pretty good. Okay, I'm using this new Ranger 63. Okay. So, this course is pretty short, right? Really short. That, really that's short. That why you got the opportunity to shoot 14 yeah, under? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, you could drive greens. So we're going, keeping this thing here. Yeah. All right. Flag it. Right at it. Yep. Down ball. Down ball. Down ball. Oh, that's perfect. Like six feet. Nice job. Thanks. Alright. All right. So we'll just throw one low in here. Do you want the yardage? Uh no, nah, I'm just gonna hit a bump and run into this hill. 45 yards just so you Is know. it? Thank you. So I'll hit one a little short and roll it up there. I'm gonna take a nine iron. What are you, what are you gonna bump and run it? Yeah, I have to. I'm not gonna try and go over it. Go a nine iron and roll it through this Kakuya. Get lucky here. Oh, that looks good. See how good it what is? What a great shot. Sit down. Sit down. It's still going? Oh, that's good. These greens are fast. That's a great shot. <laughs> thank that you. That was a great shot for you. Thank you, thank you. For a guy who doesn't play golf. <laughs> <laughs> and so you have you played like often? You don't play I only play time. once a week, but I've been playing pretty decent. So you're just like, you're full on on the lessons? Yeah, I work like six days a week and all I do. All right. Did not keep that on the high side. That's that was good. Cool. That's good. I um, I need to get fitted for a putter when we go to the kingdom. Oh, go to Bet and Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good putt. Bet and Ernie, best putter out there. <clears throat> Part three or part four? Part three. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you gonna hit? You yeah. gotta hit. Do it. No pressure. Two, do it. Do it. Grab one. Huh? Pure. You can say pure. Okay. So. One fifty-eight. Mike's gonna. He says he's gonna. He's gonna pitch this. Does he want to hit? Yeah, he's gonna pitch this with a pitching wedge. Okay. And I said, you're not going to make it with a pitching wedge. He's like, okay, I'm going to eat it. I, I got a, it yeah, he's got 58. I'm going to hit a little wedge. I'm going to hit, not a little wedge. I'm going to hit a full wedge. He's hitting a pitching wedge. You should not be hitting a pitching wedge. 58. 58. Okay. 48. All right, I'm almost warm. I pulled it. That's the not good. Though. That's not good. Almost killed that guy. 
Did you go, Mike? Say nine. Yeah. That's a nine. Ooh, I see. Over there with Hold me. Hold it, too. You're okay. You're over there with me. Ooh. All right, let's see it, Mike. I don't hit good with the feet. It's pretty pure for not playing. That's really good for not playing golf. With a nine? Never only played one round before. That's amazing Is for that not playing green? golf. No, it's not. Oh, uh, no, short? Told that's you. pretty amazing. I got to admit, it's that's... It's a wonder he makes contact, though. He's like... <laughs> he actually has a pretty darn good golf swing. Because <laughs> I pulled it. Had a lot of spin on it. These things are kind of actually fast. Are they fast? I don't know. Go, go to the right and make a practice putt. It's going to go right to left and then left to right. Wow, they're lightning. They're lightning. Sit down. Oh, what Those a putt. Are lightning fast greens. For two putts, that's. They oh. look slow, but they're lightning. I barely tapped that. It's going to go a little right to left for sure. That's good. Down. A little low. Wow, and fast. They're super fast. And fast. I like barely tap my putt and it literally just, if it didn't hit the hole, I think it would have just gone way It would have gone up. Good putt. Thank you. Oh, have a picture, have of course, of course. He watches her on Instagram. I love it. She's got fans from from Westlake. I love it. I'm following you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> That's there pretty cool. That's super cool. She's she's famous in Westlake. Yeah, I guess. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see if those people are there or not. Nice ball. That's beautiful. That's smashed. I just needed a few shots to get into what I was doing. I, <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> we needed some warm I needed to get warm myself. Still not warm. Thank you. Just needed a few shots to warm up. That's all. <laughs> That's it. Let's see how far I can. So your three iron goes a little bit further than my driver. <laughs> <laughs> I hit my three iron about 250, 260. So you probably hit yours about 245, 250. Yeah. So his his three iron a little bit further than my driver. Yeah. So you go 260 with your three iron. 250, 260. Yeah. So then I'm just probably 240. I can get it. I, you can get it there. I usually hit three wood here, but it was downwind, so I thought I could maybe get there. I'll just make an easy little birdie. 38 yards. I know I'm, I'm the most positive person on the golf course, but there's one shot that I just am not positive when I get over, and this is probably why I hit it bad, but anything under 50 yards for why? me. Like 50 to, 50 to 30 yards. Really? I just, for me, it's so bad. Because it's like, it's not a, it's not a three-quarter swing. It's not a full shot. It's not a chip. It's just here and i hate that well you so so here's the deal my coach used to do this to me he used to go all right i want you to take it to left arm parallel and hit it as short as you can so i just go like that and just drop it in like five feet so then so, he says go a little longer go shorter so do you see what i'm saying so it's all like, about speed yeah so like no, it's just, no it's just speed so don't hold your angle so just turn through it from here and don't like try and hold on to angle does it make sense just boom softer softer you can go longer and softer yeah there you go so you just got to understand that you don't have to swing it short and fast everywhere. You just got to change speeds a little bit. 
And you also have the option to open it up a little bit and that's going to get you get more height. Get a higher flop Yeah, top. just a little softer and it just could be a quarter open. It doesn't have to be all the way open. Yeah, that's why. She goes short and fast. Do what you do. So hit my shot? Yeah. Hit my shot, okay. Go. Because like for me, it's awkward, right? Because I just, the way I see it is I'm going like this. I'm staying here, so where's my spot to, where's my spot to break my wrist? So for like me, I, I feel like if someone says, don't cock your wrist at all, okay? I would look like that. And that's what most people on tour do with the wedge. They don't even cock the wrist and then they just turn through it. Does it make sense? So don't even cock yeah. your wrist on one. Take a practice in, further back. Yeah, you cocked your wrist, don't cock them. Okay. Right there, good. Okay, he's gonna get. And then just turn through it. Okay. Oh, wow. So you didn't really cock your wrist, did you? No, not at all. No, okay, so that okay, was normal. Maybe that's it, maybe that's it. Okay, just... so I see what I'm doing. I'm kind of like forcing myself to, to make a, to make an L when well, no, yes. I don't need to. You don't okay. need to. So think about this. Okay, no, so someone to. said, don't ever cock my wrist from here. This is where a lot of players are at up here with the wedge. On a real swing, they have more hinge because they want to compress the ball. Does that make sense? we don't need to dig. You we don't, don't need, need to, to dig. You just need to actually, you can thump the ground and turn and stay on top of it. And... Oh, yeah. Very good. That's nice. And that's, there's spin, too. That's really nice. I like that. Maybe I just fix my 30 to 50 yard props right there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just you're trying to take everything back too short and smash on it. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to take a big swing and make it like a little version of it and it's not working. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, came in Good too job. hot. Head down. No trouble with ball. Okay, that is, got to give it a shot there. Go in the hole. Let's see how this betting already works again. This betting already Good is perfect. Betting already. That was a full lesson with George Gankis. He's incredible. Obviously trains the top pros, top juniors. It was so great to have this lesson. I definitely learned a few things. I'm good. very happy about my 30 to 50 yard shot. Yeah, that, I mean, I think that that's an easy thing for you. I just think you're trying to take a short rip on it, mm -hmm. but you could take it a little longer and let it fall. And the swing is, it's as good as it is. I've seen for 16 years old. It is, it's pretty I sick. Really, that's, that's a big compliment. <laughs> that's and she a really can play too. Thanks. She can play. You can play some golf. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. <laughs>